What's up guys, your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be talking about Blue Demon Meliodas and Blue Lilia. Now, we're mainly going to be talking about them against each other. Um, you know, usually we talk about them on a team together and everything like that. But uh, today we're going to be talking about um, Demon Meliodas or Blue Lilia. In the sense of, a lot of people are talking about, well, do you think I should say for her or for him? Or what should I do? Yada, yada, yada. So we're just going to talk about what they do. Um, and how, how they, what they bring to the table as far as gameplay and everything like that. Uh, so you guys can make a choice on who you want or who you want to go for, save, etc. Right? So, uh, Blue Demon Meliodas first. Card does 100% damage AOE, 150, 250, and they all have pierce, so triple pierce rate, right? Uh, looking at a second card, inflicts corrosion for 15% of remaining HP, 20% remaining HP and then 20% maximum. Um, nothing too crazy. Pretty good skill, but like I said, nothing crazy. Uh, and then I mean, obviously, his ultimate plus weak point 385 to one enemy. Passive. When the hero has four or less ultimate move gauge, cannot be attack sealed. Um, or attacks cannot be disabled. Whatever. Same thing, right? Anyways, that's 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 Blue Demon Meliodas. Now let's talk about um, Blue Lilia. This is the one that everybody you know wants to know about. Blue Lilia, obviously a blue unit, inflicts damage equal to 150% to everybody or to all enemies. At rank two, same damage, but it depletes old gauge by one. And then rank three, 250% um, damage and it depletes old gauge by three. Her second skill heals all allies by 200% of attack. At rank 2, it's 240% of attack, removes debuffs. And at rank 3, it's 400% of attack and removes debuffs as well. Uh, her ultimate, same one as Green Lilia, AoE 350% uh, damage, rank skills down, and then takes away old gauge depending on however many uh, skills are ranked down. Passive, increases all allies' pierce rate by 50% of the value of the hero's pierce rate. Now, um, the, the biggest difference between Blue Demon Meliodas and Blue Lilia is that she is a support slash like utility and Demon Meliodas is damage, right? So they, they have two different categories off the bat. So you got to keep that in mind when you're choosing who you want for your account because I'm telling you right now, uh, well, I mean, I'm going to summon for both of them, but uh, if I had a pick, I would pick Blue Demon Meliodas simply because... I use King, and if you're going to be using King, you probably don't need Lilia as bad as if you're not going to be using King, because they both can heal, they can both cleanse, you're never going to really run them on the same team, so um, that's a big factor, like I said, I use King, so I don't even care about Blue Lilia like that, outside of if I'm using Pin Team or something. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go for both of them, so it's whatever. Now, keep, also a thing to keep in mind. If Blue Lilia's banner is like JP, she will be a step up and she will be guaranteed for 242 gems. So, um, if you if you want to really go for both of them, I think this is what you can do. Just make sure you have above 242 gems, and then anything above that you can use on Demon Meliodas. So, say you got you know 500 gems, right? And it's like, all right, how much do I want to use them on, you know, Meliodas, yada, yada, yada. Well, basically, just subtract 242, and then you have, what, 258 gems left for Meliodas? And just, just do that. As long as you have 242 gems for Lilia, uh, you're set because her banner is a um, step up. Meaning, all your other gems could go towards Demon Meliodas. Now, like I said, I'm going to be summoning for both. I'm going to be getting both. I'm going to be using both. So, um... And I might mess around, you never know, I might mess around and run like Meliodas Lilia King or something like that, something crazy. Um, cause like if she's giving King more penetration on his ultimate, like King's ult already nukes and my King's 6'6", so I'm definitely like slapping with King's ult if uh, I run them on the same team. I don't know, I mean, I'll obviously just do some crazy teams or whatever, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, um, if you guys want to know who you should go for or who you should save for, my my advice is to make sure you have 242 gems at least for Lilia 
and then any other gyms after that you can go towards Demon Meliodas. Now, if you want to pick one specifically, um, do you need Demon Meliodas over Lilia? Do you need a damage dealer? Do you need an AoE farmer, etc.? Um, if these are the things that you need and you're not hurting in the support department because you run King or whatever the case may be, you can opt to go, uh, go for Demon Meliodas first. Now, if you have a solid damage dealer, say you're using Escanor or you're using Jericho or Hauser or whoever, right? You have that farming team. You have uh, a damage dealer. You're not hurting for that as much. Um, I would say maybe, you know, just go for Blue Lilia. Keep in mind... Meliodas is not going to be on every single banner, but he's going to be on a lot of banners or a lot of like sins banners or whatever the case may be how they want to do it because um, They're not putting every unit on the banners, but uh, with Lilia, she's only going to be on original character banners Right, she's not going to be on any other banner outside of original character banners. So um, yeah, just keep that in mind whenever you are Debating on who you want to go for like I said, I recommend saving 242 gems for Lilia, and then any gems after that can go towards Meliodas. That's that's what I recommend. But uh, if you want to if you want to pick or choose, you know, she's a support, he's a damage dealer. That's what it is at the end of the day. So, anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to tell if you're new, comment down below, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.